Some of us think holding on makes us strong, but sometimes it is letting go. To achieve the possible, we must attempt the impossible again and again. Knowledge can be communicated, but not wisdom. You can find it, live it, and you can listen to these quotes by Hermann Hesse to learn how to communicate and teach true life wisdom. Love your suffering. Do not resist it. Do not flee from it. It is only your aversion to it that hurts. Nothing else. Faith and doubt go hand in hand. They are complementaries. One who never doubts will never truly believe. Youth ends when egotism does. Maturity begins when one lives for others. Theory is knowledge that doesn't work. Practice is when everything works, and you don't know why. When you like someone, you like them in spite of their faults. When you love someone, you love them with their faults. Loneliness is the way by which destiny endeavors to lead man to himself. Fate and character are different names for the same idea. Only the thoughts that we live have value. A house without love is a poor house. Even if beautiful rugs are covering its floors and precious wallpapers and pictures cover its walls. You are only afraid if you are not in harmony with yourself. Happiness is a how, not a what. A talent, not an object. The true profession of a man is to find his way to himself. Solitude is independence. People with courage and character always seem sinister to the rest. Opinions mean nothing. They may be beautiful or ugly clever or foolish, anyone can embrace or reject them. Everything becomes a little different as soon as it is spoken out loud. The deity is within you, not in ideas and books. Truth is lived, not taught. In every truth, the opposite is equally true. A truth can only be expressed and enveloped in words if it is one-sided. A higher humor begins with ceasing to take oneself seriously. Each man's life represents a road towards himself, an attempt at such a road the intimation of a path. No man has ever been entirely and completely himself. Seriousness is an accident of time. It consists of putting too high a value on time. In eternity there is no time. Eternity is a moment, just long enough for a joke. Everyone can reach his goal, if he can think, dream, and wait. You must find your dream, no matter how old you may be. Then the way becomes easy. 
Chaos demands to be recognized and experienced before letting itself be converted into a new order. One never reaches home, but wherever friendly paths intersect, the whole world looks like home for a time. If we can make a person happier and more cheerful, we should do it anyway, whether he asks us or not. Study from yourself. Be your own teacher and your own student. What many people call passion is not spiritual force, but friction between the soul and the outside world. Those who cannot think or take responsibility for themselves need and clamor for a leader. You should not make a gift for yourself. You are too expensive. You must be one. We can understand one another, but each of us can only interpret ourselves. Seeking means to have a goal, but finding means to be free, to be receptive, to have no goal. Man is an onion consisting of hundreds of skins, a fabric consisting of many threads. Every politician in the world is all for revolution, reason, and disarmament, but only in enemy countries, not in his own. It is not our purpose to become each other. It is to recognize each other, to learn to see the other and honor him for what he is. No one marries for the sake of having children. However, when a person has children, they will force him to change. And in the end, he will see that everything was done only for them. Lack of friends is a sign that a man has many hobbies as well as time. Those who are too lazy and comfortable to think for themselves and be their own judges obey the laws. Others sense their own laws within them. Words do not express thoughts very well. They always become a little different immediately after they are expressed, a little distorted, a little foolish. So think more and talk less. We have collected these quotes by an author, Herman Hesse, whose quotes are the mirror which allows us to examine our own identity in a world which has become more materialistic and in which we tend to look for temporary pleasures.